The Institute of Medicine serves as an advisor to the nation to improve health. We try to take on the really important questions, especially topics that are not well appreciated in terms of how important they are for human health. But most of us who take care of patients don't really appreciate how little many patients understand. Half of all adults in America are unable to understand much of what they need to know to take care of themselves and to follow their doctor's instructions. The first and most important message is how ubiquitous this problem is and how important it is for everyone to attend to it. If we want to have a healthier population, we have to enable people to be able to understand what it is they need to do to take care of themselves. We need to work at the level of the community, we need to work in education, we need to work at the level of the doctor's office, we need to work in improving our regulation and communication in every respect to our patients. Only then can we hope to have a group of people who really can take care of themselves more successfully. I would start by really asking my patients to tell me what they now understand about what they should do. I believe a lot of doctors will be surprised to hear how the patients telling them what they understand is so different from what the doctor intended the patient to hear. That's where I would begin. I would look hard at what I write to patients. I would try to examine very carefully what I am giving my patients in instructions. And then I would try constantly to check as how well the patients are actually acting on the instructions that I think I'm giving them. Health literacy is a problem that everyone has to have a hand in solving. I believe that people can do a lot about this problem. They can do a lot to help themselves, and we can do a lot as a community to improve our ability to function as literate society. I'm so grateful to the members of the committee who put together this report, all of whom serve as volunteers, like every one of the Institute of Medicine committees, people coming together to do their part to improve health and it is a wonderful service to the nation.